That's right, guys. In today's spicy video, we are going to be building a giant floating island. Now, if you guys are new to my series, we've been building up a beautiful kingdom in this nice little valley. But I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to add a giant floating island above the kingdom because then it'll look kind of like the island got floated up off of the mountain. It'll make sense. Either way, this video did take a ton of time to film. And if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you guys smash that like button to let me know that you did like it. Also, you guys might want to consider subscribing because I mean, it's literally free. And also I'm naming a bunch of things in my kingdom after my subscribers. So if you guys want to join the army, go ahead and hit that sub button, comment down below what you guys want to be in the kingdom. And let's get into episode 17 of hardcore. Ah, uh, yes, kingdom expansion day. No, I'm just kidding. This is probably going to take like 100 days in and of itself. This is going to be such a big project, man. Either way, I mean, it'll be well worth it. I think it's going to add a nice aesthetic to the kingdom because I've had this vision of building a floating island here for a long time. Because if you look at it, it just looks like there's this giant chunk of the mountain that's just missing because these really steep hills. And I think it'd be a really cool idea to just build up a floating island. Also, I want some more building space over here because once I'm done with filling in that and that and then, no, well, I mean, that's kind of filled in. I just need to add some trees and stuff. You know, <laughs> lazy boy here. Regardless, though, it'll give me more space to be able to build more things. Like, for example, I'm tired of living out of a starter base. What if I build a giant castle on top of a floating island above my kingdom? You know, that sounds pretty sick. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, all I really need to do is kind of add, like, a couple... What's going on over here? Why is there so many iron golems in the barn, bro? What even is this? I guess we're farming iron golems now. We're not even farming animals. This is ridiculous. The kingdom's getting a little out of hand. I'm not going to lie. It needs uh, some more strict laws and stuff. I mean, that's for another day. But, yeah, all I need to do is kind of fill this area in with, like, a little bit of trees, maybe one more house or two. And then this is all done. And then all I need to do is build up kind of, like, a mine shaft area over here. You know, like, we're running out of land and i think the island's gonna come in clutch not to mention a handful of episodes ago we did drain out a 100 by 100 square so i do have a uh a lot of dirt because basically this whole thing was a mountain right here and i just had to shave the entire thing down all the way down and it was it was a lot also speaking of which while we're over here i just realized I, it's been episodes and episodes since i've checked on the diamond skeleton if you guys have no idea what i'm talking about in between episodes i found a diamond skeleton and then i showed them to you guys in a video and said that the most liked comment in that video can decide the name of the the diamond skelly i mean look at this guy full diamond baby however i need to get rid of his friend because his friend is going to trigger me and i need to boat him around so let me just very carefully there we go how you doing good sir how you doing i hope you're doing okay it looks like your arm is sticking through your armor and i don't know if that is okay but i mean you seem like you're okay one thing i do want to do though is i want to try to lure him over here to our jail and then i want to kind of encase him in his own like little glass bubble basically so let me clear out a little bit of a room all right, and then that should be good for now. Now we just got to boat him all the way over here, which is going to definitely be the more challenging part. All right, buddy, it's time to take you to your new home. See, now imagine if I had thorns on my armor. This guy would be taking so much damage and it just wouldn't be worth it. And finally, I've gotten him in his new home. It, it just took about a decade and I had to dig a really long tunnel and then also make a really long stair. It was, yeah, this was not worth it. Okay, I want you guys to know. Actually, then again, I think it is because they're insanely rare, right? Full diamond skellies, incredibly rare. I just need to get him out of this boat real quick without hitting him very carefully. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. And then now look at him. Look at him in his new home. I got to give him a name tag still though. <laughs> okay, maybe I put him back in the boat just in case. I don't want him to despawn or anything, you know? Which like I said before, the name for this skeleton was gonna be the most liked comment on that video which the name actually turned out to be clover because it's like finding a four-leaf clover incredibly rare which honestly i think is a pretty high iq name i kind of like it i vibe i vibe i vibe so everybody can we get a, a warm welcome for clover in in uh prison here you go clover enjoy your name enjoy your life in prison unfortunately i can't see his name through the glass but it, i i gave it to him 100 percent. i just gotta clean up all this mess dude oh my god and now that that's all out of the way and we got our 
Skelly all named, it's time to begin the process of building up this giant floating island. Now for this island, I already know that I'm not gonna have enough dirt, even though, you know, I mean, I have I have a lot of dirt. I have like over a double chest full of dirt. But I mean, like when you really look how big this valley is, this is gonna be a pretty big island because I wanna try to match it up as identical as possible to how big this valley is. So just in case though, I'm gonna go find a place where I can be able to shovel a lot of dirt that isn't gonna make the kingdom ugly, you know what I'm saying? Also, while flying around the kingdom, I actually realized that this entire mountainside is basically cut off by a bunch of rivers. Like there's rivers that go around the entire mountain. So like we are kind of on like our own little island, our own territory. It's pretty cool, actually. I never realized it until I was just zooming around, just zoning out. Either way, a nice big luscious plains biome like this looks like a perfect spot to get a ton and ton of dirt. So without further ado, let's get to shoveling. I don't even know what that accent was. I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm a little disgusted with myself uh All right, and a little bit over two shulker boxes full of dirt, plus whatever's in my inventory. And then also what we got at home, we'll see if that's enough, probably won't be. Uh, <laughs> either way, now it is officially time to start building up this giant island. So real quick, what I do wanna do is I wanna try to build up relatively from the middle of town and build up really, really high with scaffolding so then I can kind of have a middle point of the actual island itself. I honestly don't even know how tall this is gonna be. I want it to be tall enough to where obviously it comes nowhere near the tower, but also not so high that it's an inconvenience for me. Let's just see how tall a stack and a half is. Let's go based off of that. Mm, it's pretty high, it's pretty high. Cause I gotta remember that this is going to be the lowest point of the island. I also want it to be kind of shaped like a, like a, you know what I'm saying? Like a, it, it comes down into a point almost. So I think I might do is Start it at about right here. This might be the lowest point of the island. And then I basically just gotta kinda shape it out in a way. I don't I don't know exactly. I've never built a giant floating island like this, so bear with me while I attempt to figure out how I wanna do this. <laughs> I'm normally really bad at building stuff like this. We officially got a giant outline for this thing. And I mean, it's kind of shaped a little, a little wonky. I maybe I could shape it out a little bit better, but uh, we'll, we'll do that as we're kind of building it up because the bottom of it, I think is going to be the real deciding factor on the full outline. Regardless, we got a little bit of a platform up here now to where we can be able to actually work up here. But one thing I need to do before I start placing down too much dirt is actually I need to place down a lot of torches down there because last thing I need to do is cast a giant shadow underneath this. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, that looks pretty cool, actually. Hold on. Let me fly down here. Let's get a nice visual. And I realized I don't want it to be the exact size of the valley because I want to have other little floating islands that we'll work on later. Not in this video, but it'll be a later project. This will just be the main hub island, basically, that we'll probably end up making a base out of. But like I said, let's real quick just make a ton of torches so that we don't accidentally uh, wipe out the kingdom by, you know, letting a bunch of mobs spawn because <clears throat> that'd be very unfortunate because that is one of the downsides to having a giant island above your kingdom is well i mean yeah it's gonna cast a giant shadow so <laughs> and then once i'm not too lazy then i can actually start building up more street lights and stuff like that and then we don't have to have all these ugly torches everywhere and i'll be honest the more i'm looking at it, the more i'm realizing how i uh really cut in on this side i'm definitely gonna have to expand that out a lot more because i realize the valley center isn't really where the town center is i went based off town center but the valley center is more like up here. I just wanted to leave room for other stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Things. Things to think about. And with the kingdom all torched up now, we should be good to go to building out this island and not really affecting the kingdom. I hope. We'll see. But hey, that's what security's for, right? <laughs> right, right J-Dog? You gonna, gonna protect us? And now that the kingdom is protected with light, now it's officially just time to start building out this giant platform. First of all, I do want to fix this oddly shaped thing over here, and then we'll get into filling in this whole thing. Thing. And 
finally after many many blocks of dirt i mean it looks ugly right now okay there's there's no way around it it's looking pretty ugly i need to kind of shape it out a little bit hello you guys impeding on my new lands what do you what do you what are you doing here what we need you guys to leave also where's your flag guy maybe he already uh maybe he fell off already uh <laughs> regardless i do need to kind of shape it out just a smidgel however i'm not too worried about the shape because i mean it is a giant floating island you know i mean it's not gonna look perfect the whole point of it is to you know look like floating land completely left the ground what i am more worried about though is kind of decorating the bottom because the bottom is looking a bit ugly i'm not gonna lie like this this needs more stone in it and stuff but that's gonna require a lot of a lot of scaffolding and uh and just to save you guys some time let's just bang there we go that looks already a lot much better i would say already a lot but either way i do vibe with this though it's it's starting to turn out a little bit better now that i blended together some stone into the mountain or mountain into the island itself you know obviously the most dense part of stone being at the bottom but it is looking pretty bland still with like all the brown and stuff right like i feel like i should add like some pop of green i mean there's already grass popping through anyways because for some reason grass can still grow in the dark i mean there's torches but regardless and with a little bit of grass that looks much better there we go that that greenery adding like all the leaves with you know the the glow berries and stuff it just mm, mm, looking mad crispy now and you already know i took a bunch of leaves from the uh, the stripped forest look at that thing it's looking naked over here soon all these trees will be leafless either way the island is coming together all i really want to do now is i probably want to try to like make it so it's not completely flat i mean it's perfect for being able to actually just build anything and everything on because it is flat which is nice but i think i might try to build like a little bit of slopes or mountains or something i don't know i'm also thinking about leaving it completely flat like this because if i do then obviously i can like i said have any sort of free will to do whatever i want with it one of the nice things is that i did leave leave it completely hollow on the inside as well because I want to be able to have room to be able to make like if I want to do storage and stuff then I easily can and the more I think about it the more I'm just like I'd rather just already have kind of like a little bit of terrain to this thing it just looks so flat and so weird so I'm going to try to like build up a bit of that instantly turned into grass uh, I'm going to try to build up like a bit of a slope on this side I mean I still have a lot of dirt left over so I'm not too worried about it There we go. I'm vibing with that. Got a little bit of terrain to it. And I'm thinking about adding kind of like a pond, maybe like right here. I know I'm digging up dirt that I literally already set down, but hey, I just think it would look really cool to have like a pond also, you know, right at the edge of this little slope. There we go. Now that we got it all shaped out and all I need to do is fill it up with water just like that. There we go. Now we got a fully filled in pond. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, one other thing that I do want to do just to kind of like change up the, the flatness up here before we start getting to big building actual things up here would be maybe adding kind of like a, a river up here in the front the only thing is i'm trying not to eat up too much room because if i do actually build something big i want to have the space for it i also just had the realization that it could look cool to have like a uh little waterfall coming off the back end of this there we go that looks pretty nice all i need to do is actually add some like stones and gravels and stuff like that for like decoration and all that as i was saying though let's get back to uh, the river idea here I want to try to clear out a little bit in the front. That would be almost like a moat, but it won't go all the way around. Something just kind of like this. I got to give it a floor, basically. And just fill this whole thing in with water now. Just like that. Now we got a nice filled in pond. Well, not pond. This is the river and that's a pond over there. Speaking of pond, though, I actually do kind of want to decorate this because something about just leaving blank water like this is kind of ugly. And I figured I'll probably try to just, you know, blend it in just like how I did that one over there with like a little bit of grass a little bit of you know some gravel and stuff like that and so let's get into decorating oh now this thing's looking snazzy now now this is a pond that i want in my backyard i'm not gonna lie i'm vibing i'm vibing big time just feel so cozy i love the lanterns too oh but of course you got to turn on the shaders to really appreciate some nice lanterns i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty good actually with shaders i can also see how dark it is down here hey no, I mean, it's it's pretty dark. It's not really that bad. I mean, my sword's lighting up. Look how bright it is. Minecraft shaders, baby. Flawless. Regardless, though, that is going to be it for my giant island. Uh, now, like I
like I said, I do have plans and I do have ideas for building this thing up and how I want to do it. Like possibly putting a house on top, possibly putting an auto sorter on the inside, maybe a tunnel that I could fly in and out of right here, you know, something like that. But I am curious to know what you guys want to see on the giant island. I am thinking about adding up a couple more islands next to it for some other small projects. But regardless though, comment down below to let me know. Now it's time to get into naming some villagers after some subscribers, baby. But first of all, I'm running low on emeralds and I need to be able to make some. So here, let me just toss all this garbage out of here. So yeah, let's do some potato trades real quick. And now that I got emeralds, I can easily just get a bunch of name tags. And the first subscriber is going to be Jeff that wants to be a book boy. And the next is Mad Hum Mad Mad Mad, Mad Humita. I, I hope I got that right. Um, Just wanted to be a working villager. I respect that. And then the next one, we need a fish, which I'll grab this puffer fish. <laughs> Ooh, we also got a wandering trader on top of the old island, huh? How you doing, sir? Black ink, blue dye. Either way, for our next subscriber, we got Omega that wants to be a fish. And now you're puffer fish in the new pond. Like I said before, if you guys want to join the kingdom as whatever you want, comment down below. Let me know. And I'll continue to keep grabbing subscribers every single video. So for now, guys, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.